So we're going to be talking about clay today, so please make sure that you have your little booklet ready and you're going to be filling things out before we actually get into the clay. All right, here we go. So first thing, there are three types of ways that you can actually work with clay. We have pinch, which by the way you hold it into your hand and you merge it with your fingers, those are the only tools you have. You have slab, which is flat. Coil, which looks like snakes. And other little tips are that the clay walls that you create can't be thicker than your, your pinky, and the overall design has to be hollow and has to have an air hole, because if it doesn't, it won't be able to dry all the way through and it might explode. After you've built your actual clay project, you're going to want to probably add things onto it. Um, so some ways that you can add things, add details, is through different techniques. We have additive, which are attachments or things that pop out. Subtractive, which are negative spaces. Basically, we've carved them out. Sgraffito are things that we can scratch in, either with details or texture, or when you're actually building it, you can use a variety of coils, as you can kind of see right on here on the right side and side. Now, when you're working with clay, there's a couple of things you need to know. Okay, at the station, there are different tools that you can create with. The clay boards you need to work with, please pull from the bottom. At least you'll know that they're always dry. Okay, um, clay should be kept closed and moist. That means kind of making sure that if it's dry, spread some water in it. Slip is watered down clay. The texture tools should not have any chunks of clay on them. Okay, and the plastic bags which are underneath your plastic the little sink. Okay, make sure you put everything back where you found it. Now, when you're cleaning up, make sure you only use that sink, okay, the clay sink. Um, my suggestion is put your hands in the water, I know it's gross, rinse them off with the container water, and after all the clay is done, and if you want to only at that point wash your hands in the sink, that's fine. Sink that goes down my regular sink, my excuse me, clay that goes down my regular sink will collect in the pipes, and that's not good. Okay, and by the way, if your hands are dry, you can use some of the lotion by the station. After you're done working with all the tools and your station, okay, there's a couple of things that need you to do. Make sure that you scrape any of the extra clay off the boards, wipe down your table, only use the sponges, I know they're gross, over by the sink area, okay? It's okay that there are, um, the table is white. Um, I just don't want dust everywhere, okay? So please don't slam the clay or, you know, push it off all over the place. The dust can get everywhere. And if you're not done, please take a pay, uh, one of the bags underneath the clay sink, okay? Put a damp paper towel in it, all right? And just zip it and put your name on it and put it on one of the sides. Uh, where the clay station is and then um, you'll be good until the next day. When you're finished, clean up all of that stuff. Alright, so there's a variety of tools that you may use. Most of them have names on them, okay, but I'm going to kind of go over a few of them. Uh, you're going to find that there are different silverware. They're great for details and tools. There's different cutting um, tools that you can use. They Honestly, a lot of these tools can be used for different things too. You can cut, you can smooth, you can scrape them up. All right. The sponge, you get that a little bit wet if you want to smooth things out or to kind of like moisten a little bit. Uh, we have modeling tools which are great for small details. The loop tools are good for carving out. You have the pin tool, small little details. Okay. Um, everything else, uh, the one thing that you might not see in here is the rolling pin. Um, other than that, most things are all out there ready for you to work with. When you put the clay together, okay, you can't just use it like Play-Doh. It's not going to happen, okay? You can't just stick it and hope that it'll stay. You actually have to join it in the correct way. So what you're going to do is called score, slip, stick, smooth. Scoring is roughing up a space. Slip is adding that wet, it's almost like glue, but it is really watered down clay, okay? Stick, press it on, merge means all you have to do is just merge at least one side. That means to smooth it out so it looks like it's one whole piece, okay? Now, when you're working with clay, there are different stages, all right? So, as we already kind of know, slip is very, very wet clay, okay? The next one is wet. That is the stuff that we work with. It's great for building. Um, if it's a little bit dry, it might get a little crumbly. You can always add water. The next stage is called leather hard. That's when it starts drying and it gets kind of like really hard and stiff to one work with and kind of is great for um, carving into if you want to add little extra details in it. Okay. Following after that is bone dry. This is where it gets really, really dry. Okay, it's very brittle. And when it's bone dry and it's sitting on the shelves, please don't touch it, okay? Because that means it's getting ready to be fired. Bisque. 
This means it's fired, it's rock hard. You will be able to kind of like tap on it and it will sound like kind of like tinging, which is pretty neat. Glazed means that it's been shined up really nice, okay? And I, don't forget, I went over that process in the intro video. Now, what you're going to be about to do is you're actually going to watch me create a couple different styles of, um, or techniques of coil pots and um, slap. What you're going to do for your practice is you're going to make a small little video, okay, not too long, and show me what you made. You're going to make a slab, as it says right here, a slab container with some texture on the outside. I want to be able to see all around it how you did your score stick thick, slick, and smooth, and your, te your um, texture, okay? And the next one will be a coil pot, very small, and then you're just going to add something to it. Those are just for practice, okay? So when you're done, just smush them. Putting it together, everyone's going to get to make something. Yours is only allowed to be, oh, I don't have it here, but it only can be two inches by three inches high, okay? It's not very big. There is a, a ruler over by the um, ceramic station, so you can uh, measure it, okay? Um, just make sure you read through to see what you need to require to um, put on it, and make sure your name's on the bottom. When you're finished, it goes over to dry on the the drying rack over there by the clay station. That's it. Let's get ready to play with clay. All right, so today we're gonna kind of learn how to work with clay and the tools that were um, that you have available to you. So a couple of things. Right now, as you can see, this clay is kind of, you know, a little damp, all right? There are other pieces of clay. If you find that the bucket is open, what happens is it dries out, okay? If it dries out, all you have to do is kind of like just get your hands a little wet. You can use the slip water or you could just take a spray bottle and just wet your hands and then kind of mush it into the clay, okay? So that's one thing. All right, um, the tools. There are lots of different tools that you can use for your, for um, building your, your clay, okay? So we're gonna kind of go through them so you can kind of see what they are. All right, so first on the agenda, all right, so everything is gonna go back, is the board, okay? So the board, what I would highly suggest is when you're grabbing a board, don't grab from the top, grab from the bottom because a lot of times what happens is all of the wetness from the clay and whatever you're using gets the board wet. So if you pull from the bottom of the stack, you will always have a dry board, okay? All right, so here we go. So these right here are called loop tools, okay, because it looks like a loop. These are great for carving out things, okay? So if you need a negative space, that means like an empty hole, okay? Or um, let's say you're, you're making something, all right? Let's, let's make that look like something. You could add details with this, right? Which is pretty cool. All right, so those are called loop tools. Next, we have things that you can cut with, all right? Now, there are lots and lots and lots and lots of different things that we can chop with, okay? But these are not only what they can do. A lot of these tools have multi-purposes for them. They could do lots of things, okay? So for example, here, this one can smooth as well. This can smooth as well, okay? These can also do little designs, okay? They can cut, different things, okay? Just what's preferable to you, okay? So we're just gonna move those to the side. All right, what do we have left? All right, this is a pin tool. Pin tool is kind of sharp, just to let you know. All right, this is great for small details, okay? And let's say, let's say you're making something like that really small. You see that? Oh, my heavens. Um, great for small spaces to help you out in getting, like, stuff out. Okay? So one thing that I want you to do, so I want you to use your pin tool to make sure that you put your name on the bottom of your ceramic piece, whatever you create for your um, clay. Okay? All right. Oh, you're going to see that I have silverware. As I said before, a lot of these tools can be used for different things. When I was in college, I actually had a set of silverware, and they were great for so many different reasons. Okay. Um, all different great things. I could score. I can, you know, smooth. All different things. Okay. Last one. Probably the most important tool that you probably want is called a modeling tool. Okay. These are great. They come in the slightly different um, styles, but anyone is perfect. 
great it's kind of like a pin tool if you get in real deep if you're made of a huge pot and you're you're trying to get small spaces this is great this is great for what we're going to do is we're going to learn about um slip stick excuse me <laughs> i'm gonna let's make this sure i get this right okay so we're going to learn the merging techniques okay so the merging techniques is you know to make a coil it is to score okay slip stick and smooth so great for that okay so we're gonna actually hold on to that all right so first thing we're gonna learn about is how to make a slab so take a piece of clay now what I would do is I would play around with the clay first and then decide on which of the um, techniques that you want to do uh, for your pot okay so you're gonna make a little bowl or a pot um, for the practice okay uh, no excuse me your final for this all right it's not your focus but everyone I feel is going to get something fired okay for your practices you're going to make a little coil pot and a little um, slab pot okay so slab how we're going to do this and every time you make one I want you to take a picture of this okay so when you're rolling things out okay I don't want you to take this and roll it down like that to make it thin all right that's not how you do that all right um, so when you're rolling things out, what you do is you're actually going down and up, down and up, all right? Move around, down and up. And you want it to be a nice, even thickness. About as the, as, excuse me, you don't want to go thicker than the pinky width because it's going to take a long time to dry. And honestly, we don't kind of have the time to do that. And I want even dryingness, or even dryness, that's a good word. Okay, so try to keep it a little bit thicker than half of your pinky, okay, so it makes sense, and thinner than the thickness of it, okay, so that's pretty good. So in order to work with a slab, okay, so I'm going to actually grab, let's grab the metal plate, okay, all right, so we're going to make a little pot, so I'm going to make a nice straight let at here, all right, So we have nice flat. This would be our walls, all right? Now, for this, you can do lots of different decorations on here. You can put texture on it um, if you're building up walls like this, okay? But what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually make a little, so I wanna make a circle base. So I have my wall. Now, when you do your your bottoms for coil and slab, I would like you to use the slab technique, okay? Because it kind of goes a little bit faster, all right? So, how to merge this? How do we get this on here, okay? What we're gonna do is called, we're gonna score, we're gonna add slip, stick, and smooth. So this is how we do this to add it on. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna do score. What happens here is that clay is not like Play-Doh, okay? can't just stick it on and hope for the best. What happens is, is that clay actually dries and it shrinks, okay? And when it does that, they actually separate. So if I just put this on the side, both of these are not gonna stick because they're gonna shrink, okay? And they're gonna pop off. So what we need to do is we need to find almost like glue to, to hook them in, all right? Now a lot of people are like, well, what if I just smush the whole thing? Yeah, that could be an idea. But here's the problem. When you smush, it's probably gonna change the shape or the design or the how it's gonna look for your stuff, okay? So we're gonna do both. So we have score, all right? This is slip. It is mushy, mushy clay, all right? If it's not mushy, it's not slip. You might have to move around. Yes, this is gross. It's actually kind of fun, okay? So we're gonna paint it on, kind of put it in, okay? Oops. All right score stick it's pretty much the stick part <laughs> yeah all right so we're gonna stick this on now the last part is the smooth all right so what we need to do is we need to smooth them together so this is where that modeling tool comes in and we're just gonna smooth it okay you gotta do it on one side and this side you see how this kind of like well how, how do I get this well the other end and you're just gonna kind of like just 
pull it up. You don't want to look like two pieces. You want to kind of look like, um, almost like you've made it out of one piece and it's been molded so it looks nice and smooth. There it is. Okay. All right. So you're like, well, how does that look like a, a, a cup? Well, it doesn't right now. You'd actually have to make another side and then you'll have to merge these, this, and this side, all right? And then you'll be able to come up with your little container. Make the other side, okay, unless you made it long enough to go around. And I want you to take a picture of this, okay? So I can see that you were able to do this. Actually, even better, take a small video and show me the actual thing, okay? So I can look around and I can see if you smooth the areas out, okay? You're done? Smush it. <laughs> Next is the coil method, all right? So coils. Okay, you don't want to do like a huge long coil, all right, because what happens is it kind of breaks. So if you do little ones at a time, it's much better. All right, so first thing we want to do is we want to start off with a base, okay? So we're going to go back. Okay. All right, let's get our base. And we're going to make about coils about three coils high, okay, for our little mini practice. So we're going to take this. Sometimes it sticks. <laughs> Sometimes you have to find a way to get it up. Nice. Perfect. Let's move that over. Okay, so make a coil. When you make a coil, you don't want to take your hands and just go one little section, okay? You kind of want to open your fingers and go back and forth. So, and you might feel that it might separate. If it's separating, that means it's starting to get dry. Get your hands a little wet. Not too wet, because it'll get slimy. All right, so back and forth, back and forth. And you might want to make a few of these, okay? So you don't have to go and, you know, make a coil, keep going. Make a coil, keep going. Now, the reason that we do the different types, okay, is coils, I can go and 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 make this higher, higher, higher. Okay, it's slowly growing it. It makes it a lot easier to be able to um, kind of make sure it doesn't fall down. With slab, you can only go so high before it starts to like, whoop, flop over, okay? Um, and it's fine, okay? Because sometimes you need slab, sometimes you don't. All right, so we're gonna make this about as wide as my pinky, that looks pretty good, or as bad as wide as a pencil. Um, either one looks good, okay? You can even like go up to this and be like, hey, this kind of reminds me of this kind of width. Looks good. All right, same kind of construction. Score. Okay, make a rough up. Rough it up, rough it up, rough it up, okay. Let's make this rough as well. Now there's two ways that you can do this, okay? So, one way is that we kind of do this one coil at a time. So you go round and round and round and cut this off. That's one way. I've had other people where they'll continue up like this. Either way, doesn't matter to me, okay? I'm just gonna cut that off, all right? So we have the same thing, score, slip, stick, smooth. Okay, so we gotta go through. We gotta smooth it out. Make sure it's really joint in. Because if not, I've had people who've come back and they're like, uh, why didn't this stick? I go, because you didn't smooth it out. Okay, now as long as you have one side smoothed out, the other side should be pretty strong. Okay, if you really like this look of the coils, you can leave it like this. But if you're not too keen on it, smooth it out. Okay. All right, so you're gonna make three coils high of this one. And, ready, I'm gonna throw one more. I want you to add something on top of this, okay? Like, what does that mean? Okay, so clay is kind of this neat thing. It's called additive and subtractive, okay? So right now we're adding, okay? Clearly we're adding. There's another way called subtracting. That was the carving out and, you know, pulling out. So. We're gonna add something. So what I want you to do is I want you to add either a little handle 
or a little um, decorative element. So what could the decorative element be? All right, so when we are creating things on the side, okay, so let's say I want to make this, I'm gonna lower this a little bit because it's really thick, a little flower, okay? Dude, dude. All right, there we go, there's my little flower. <laughs> so cute. Put a hole in it because that's the subtractive part. Okay, there we are. All right, kind of looks like one of those cookies. That's yummy cookies, okay? So whenever you add things, okay, remember, you have to do the same process. Score it, rough it up. Okay, let's add that right there. Slip. Oops. Okay, stick. Now most people will think, oh, that's fine. No, you actually have to go in the back and smooth it out. Like some of this stuff is kind of like hard to get to, but you can do it, all right? So add something three coils high, okay? And then take a, a little video. Show me around it. It doesn't have to be a long video. I just want to be able to see that you got it, you know, nice and smooth and you're able to do that, okay? If you want to get fancy, you could totally put some like designs in here. Oop, oop. Fancy, okay. Um, that's really it. Uh, for your kind of like putting it together, all right, ladies and gentlemen, um, you're gonna grab enough clay to be able to create something, okay? It can be a pot, it can be a little creature, it can be whatever you like, but it can only be about two inches by three inches, okay? It needs to be hollow. You must use the coil or the slab construction, okay? And then um, you gotta make sure your name's on the bottom, okay? When you're finished, put it over. There we go, Smith, okay? Um, put it over on the, um, the little shelf over there, okay, the drying shelf. And remember, don't touch it until it's ready and it's been fired, okay? so. It's nice and hard, because what happens is, remember, it's gonna become bone dry, very brittle, okay? And that's when a lot of the accidents happen, okay? All right, so recap, make a little slab bowl, okay? Make a coil, three coil high, little container, attach something for both of them, um, do short little videos, put them into the finished media folder, and then when you're done, I would like you to make your own little, you know, two by three, all right? If you don't know what it is, there is a ruler, it's gross ruler, okay? Over by the um, one, over by the clay area, okay? Two by three inches, so give you a kind of like a pretty decent size, like little thing, okay? You can make whatever you like, all right? Um, just read the back of the, the packet, um, excuse me, the booklet, and it'll kind of tell you what you're, you need to do, okay? All right, and that's it. Oh, don't forget to wash your hands in the sink for the clay, okay? And these tools, just make sure you don't. there's no clumps of clay on it, and you don't have to wash these off. They can just go back into the containers, okay? And that's it. Bye.